Hello, Star Wars fans. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Now, I know you, you've been wondering, why is IG-11 doing here since I already did a review of this guy? Well, it's because I have the Star Wars The Black Series Carbonized Mandalorian from the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian by Hasbro. Now, take a look at the the packaging here now the now the pack the box here is unlike the usual Star Wars the Black Series packaging but with the um the carbonized look thing right here you get the little shiny reflection here and does say carbonized here you got a nice awesome image of the Mandalorian Mandalorian you get the name here and look you get the little t torn ah man now it's worthless <laughs> Well, I don't mind that. I just op love opening my toys and then, well, I'm sorry, figures display. I'm an in. I'm an out of box collector. And you get the warning choking hazard, and it's recommended for ages four plus. You get the Hasbro logo right here. On the on the side here, you get an image. Whoops. You get a number there. On the other side, you get the Mandalorian's name here. On the back here. And I forgot to mention he is number 94. There's a little read-up bio about the character. It says his body is shielded by berserk armor. His face is hidden behind a T-Vision mask. And his past is wrapped in mystery. The Mandalorian is, is battle-worn and tight-lipped for a formidable bounty in a bounty hunter in a increasingly dangerous galaxy. So that's about it for the box. Now let's release the Mandalorian out of the box. Here we got the Mandalorian out of the box. Now take a look at the, the figure here. Now the head scope on him, the Mandalorian helmet here. I gotta say, they did a really nice job of capturing the looks on the helmet. Very all silvery look. And you get a little muddy effects on the helmet there. Now take a look at the the figure itself. Now it's pretty much metallic look on him. That's why they call it carbonized because of the metallic look on him. Right here you get the armors of the one of the scarf troopers from Rogue One. You get the little sleeves there underneath the armor and the shirt as well. Pants. There's a holster for his belt there. There's some pouches. And there's like a little clip on for the belt holding on. I guess there's supposed to be bullets for the um the rifle that he comes with. Now speak up for the rifle. You can see he did, there's a little peg hole right there for the rifle, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. You get the little cape here, the little clean Eastwood Western style cape with a little hood there. See the hands here, the gloves. You get the little green, I mean bluish triangle there with the little trinker fingers on one hand. You get the little pads there, the scrub pads, and more bullets holes there. There's some wrinkles on the pants, wrinkles on the sleeves and shirt as well. Take a look at the shoes here. Nothing much on the shoes, just Plain old brownish color. And on the bottom, there's some legal stuff and peggles in the bottom for you as well. Overall, for this figure, it's not too bad. Not very bad at all. I mean, it's well done. Detailed. Looks exactly like from the show. Well, kind of, since it is a carbonized version of the Mandalorian. The common one. But I'm happy I have the Mandalorian figure in my collection. Articulation-wise... This is the same old articulation. You get the head rotation. And what's funny enough, right here, he does have like the single jointed, the double neck movement. Now you can go down this high and does go up this high, kind of. Arms go fully rotate, does go in and out. Well, kind of because it's hindered by both of the shoulder pads. Bend at the elbows, rotate at the elbows, wrist does rotate and hinge up and down while the left side does have hinge left and right. 
And it's funny enough that this Star Wars figure has like the Mandalorian has like the butterfly joints and does have rotations at the where the gauntlets are. Isn't that sweet? There's some ab crun ab waist movement. Legs can kick forward and back, in and out. He can do the splits, upper leg rotation. Been at two points at the knee. Sort of going to kick in his behind. Ankles can go pivot forward and back, and ankle pivot side to side. Who doesn't love ankle pivot? Shardimus Prime does love his ankle pivots on his figures. Articulation is not too bad at all. I mean, you can make great pose abilities with this figure. Now, accessories-wise, he does come with only two accessories. He does come with his little blaster here, which is warped in package. But you can easily put it on his trigger finger hand, like so. Or, you can easily put on the holster, like so. All you do is you take off this piece here. And there you go. Now, the only problem is the peg here doesn't stay on all the way in because of the gun, the blaster he's that is in. But I'm going to display him with the blaster. And, of course, he does come with the rifle. The rifle is not too bad at all. You can see some scuff paint here for putting the figure in. And there's also the little peg there. Yeah, which is also... Which kind of fits in there. Come on. Hold on, let me do this off camera. There you go. You got the blaster rifle with it on here. Now I really wish it the the hole is big enough to put the whole pig in, but that's all right. I'm just gonna display him holding the blaster. Let me do this off camera again. Do do do. Finally. And there you go. Now you got the Mandalorian with the rifle ready to shoot down Jawas. And other bad and other bad guys, including now limited to Moth Gideon and Klein. Well he did get killed by the Mandalorian. Or one of the other Mandalorian spent. I don't remember, I forgot easily. So overall, I absolutely love this figure so much. I mean, I'm really happy I have a Mandalorian figure in my collection since the whole since the Netflix show. I was like I was about to get this figure before the common one. I was like, mm, probably I'll get the figure and pre-order on Entertainment Earth. But after finishing watching the Mandalorian, I was like, thank goodness I I'm glad I pre-ordered the Mandalorian figure on Entertainment Earth. But then, Target has... But then, when I go to Target and, I, and they have the Mandalorian carbonized version, I was like, alright, I'll get it. And then cancel my order from the normal Mandalorian figure. But I'm really happy I have this guy in my collection. The, the looks on the figure looks great. Very well done from the sh accurate from the show. And I'm really happy this guy's in my collection along with IG-11.
right here. Now all I need is Car Carl Dune and then the ba and then Baby Yoda, aka the Child. And I'm hoping Hasbro's making more figures based on the Mandalorian, like Moth Gideon, Carl Weathers's Carl Weathers's character, the client. Heck, I mean everyone. Plus, I need that heavy lift, that heavy lifted Mandalorian figure from Best Buy. Too bad it's already sold out. So anyway, I love this figure. Very well, very well sculpted. Well, the articulation looks great, and I'm very happy. He looks that he is in my collection, and I'm pretty sure he will be in your collection very soon. For my rate, I'm going to give the Star Wars The Black Series Carbonized Mandalorian figure a 9.5 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and comment on this video. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos after you subscribe. So you won't miss any new uploads and you can be part of the notification squad. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. I have spoken. This is the Star Wars The Black Series Carbonized Mandalorian figure from the Mandalorian Disney Plus series by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you for watching. And remember, this is the way.